We're back with another check of that breaking news. Tonight, the U.S. and U.K. struck back against Iranian-backed Houthi targets in Yemen. Those militants have been attacking ships in the Red Sea for months in response to the war between Israel and Hamas. ABC's Melissa Adan has details. The U.S. and U.K. striking back against Iranian-backed Houthi rebels in Yemen. According to a U.S. official, the military launching retaliatory strikes against multiple Houthi targets using Tomahawk cruise missiles launched from Navy surface ships and a U.S. Navy submarine. This after the White House warned the Houthis could bear the consequences if they do not stop attacks on commercial shipping in the Red Sea. We're going to do what we have to do to to, uh, to counter and defeat these threats that the Houthis keep throwing up. The Pentagon confirming that the Houthis fired an anti-ship ballistic missile from Houthi-controlled areas in Yemen into international shipping lanes on Thursday, targeting a commercial vessel. There were no injuries or damage reported. This marks the 27th Houthi attack on commercial shipping since mid-November, according to the Pentagon, disrupting one of the most vital shipping routes in the world. 15% of world commerce passes through the Red Sea. The Houthis claiming their strikes are in retaliation for Israel's war in Gaza. The U.S. response follows Tuesday night's attack when the U.S. and U.K. fired back, shooting down 18 one-way drones and three missiles from the Houthis targeting commercial ships. The U.S. and its allies creating a coalition of 20 nations to stop the attacks. A Houthi leader warning any U.S. attack will not go without a response from the Iranian-backed rebels. We've done everything we can to deter this. Uh, but it obviously did not work, and the choice was up to Iran. So I do think Iran will likely amp up it through its proxies, of course. In a statement tonight, President Biden saying he will not hesitate to direct further measures to protect our people and the free flow of international commerce as necessary. Melissa Adan, ABC News, Los Angeles.